Now, our protected lights are our primary shadow casters. They use uh, standard uh, depth map uh, shadows, and it has all the standard uh, settings that you would expect from any other uh, CG application as far as uh, depth map shadows go. Now, you see here we have an image display in our light here. Now, this image display is what is being projected through the light. So we can throw different images in there to get different uh, effects as far as lighting goes in it. So it simulates kind of like a gobo or, or a light jump. <laughs> so if we put that on, we turn on lights, and now you see we have that updated on our character. Now we can also put uh, image uh, sequences in here as well. Um, we've used that in the past to fake caustics and things like that. Go ahead and put our soft spotlight back in here. So while we're working with Mock Studio here, we want to we want to start moving this light around. We can just grab this and we can just start pulling it around. See live update of our shadow. So we can go in here, place the light, move it around, find the exact location that we want the light, and then we'll call it good. Okay, so let's uh, jump back into our camera here and we'll move on to some of the other light settings. And we'll come down here to our shadow settings. So we can see we have uh, pretty much the standards, uh, shadow map resolution, um, we have our depth bias, shadow softness. Let's go ahead and mess with our shadow softness here a little bit. You can watch the shadows on our face and they start to harden up. Just like that, or we can diffuse them out really, really far. Now I mentioned our light making system. Now what we do in Mach is we call it light sets. So we select our character here. This is the light set that we set up to illuminate um, our character here specifically. What we can do is we can uh, grab our lights tab here. We can check the lights that we want to uh, be included into that light set. And then we can also select the object that we want to be uh, included, be affected by those lights. But also we can move down into uh, what we call the fragment level and select individual parts of the character that we want to illuminate by that specific light. So if we go down here, here's our dawn eyes. Uh, light set and we can show you where I have the dawn eye kick point light selected and then we just open up our dawn character and then we just got a couple of the uh, fragments selected so we can eliminate just the iris of the eye. Okay next let's talk about our shader uh, model. Now our, our, sh our shaders work uh, pretty much uh, similar to uh, anything else that you've ever been exposed to as far as CG shading goes. Uh, we don't import shaders from Maya or Max or any other uh, CG application. They're all built out right here in Mox Studio. So we'll grab this hair shader here real quick. This is a custom proprietary shader that we built uh, at Studio GPU for, specifically for doing hair. We can also do uh, velvet and some other, uh, other effects with it. Now, uh, if you've ever had any uh, experience lighting characters, you know you spend massive amounts of time moving lights around for every shot, trying to get just that per perfect specular kick off of the hair. But well, we thought we were tired of doing that, so we decided just to write it right into the shader. We can take that specular component, we can shift it right across the surface, call our art director over, say, okay, where do you want it? Okay, right there, and we'll call it good. Now, say we, you know, we don't like the color of our hair, you know, we have our standard, uh, you know, additive color on top of everything. So we can, you know, quickly update our shader. Now this is working off uh, standard shading uh, techniques as far as diffuse maps, specular maps, uh, reflection maps, uh, alpha maps, those kind of things. Now if we look into our shader library here, we have, you know, the, the, the usual suspects, Blend, Lambert, Fong. Um, then we also have a couple of proprietary shaders, Car Paint, uh, Subsurface Scatter Shader, uh, and our Air Shader. Now all our shaders are built in uh, HLSL shading language. Uh, we have a shader SDK, so if you want to write your own shaders for Mock Studio, you can do that as well.